In this tutorial, we will learn about row function. So what is row function? It is a lookup and reference function type and it returns the row number of a reference and its syntax is equal to row within bracket we have to give a reference and you can see this reference is given within a square bracket that means it is optional and if you put the reference within this row function then it will return the row number of that reference or if you don't use the reference then it will take the row number of the cell in which you are using this function. So we will understand this row function with four examples. First, this is for basic understandings and then we will learn how to create number series with a row function. Then in example three, we will look up some values within a large data and, and the fourth is conditional formatting. So let's understand one by one. So first we will understand with example one, this is the basic one. So let's type equal to row and bracket open bracket close. We have not used any reference. Press enter. We got nine. So the row number of this cell is nine. So we got the result nine. Now if we put the reference, let's see equal to row bracket open and let's click here. So the row number of this is 2, bracket close and enter, we got 2. And we can also use a range within this bracket. So type equal to row, use this range, bracket close. So in this case, the row number will be displayed for the first row of this range. So in this range, the first row is 7, press enter we got 7. So if we do not use any reference, then it will return the row number of the same cell in which we are using this function. And if we use the range, then it will return the row number of this cell. And if we use a range, then it will return the first row of this range. So now we will understand example 2. Now here we will create the number series. So, so let's see type here equal to row bracket open and bracket close enter. So we got 15. Now drag this function. You can see we got a number series from 15 to 16, 17, 18 in this way. So here first we got the row number of this cell that is 15. Then for this cell 16 in this way we got all the row number. But if we want to start from the beginning, then how to do that? Then here type equal to row, bracket open, bracket close, minus. So here it will return 15. So now we will minus the same number. That is, we can use here 15. So we got here 0. Now drag down. Now we can see we got 0, 1, 2 in this way. So if I type here a function instead of 15, so you can type here a row bracket open, select the same cell that is C15, C15 and make it absolute reference, press F4, then bracket close and enter. We got 0. Now drag this down, we can see same result. Now, if I want to start the number from 1, then we can do this equal to row bracket open bracket close minus row bracket open then select here bracket close. So here this function will return 15 and this function will return 14. So 15 minus 14 is equal to 1. Now drag this down, we are getting the same result because we have to make this reference fix. So press F4 and enter. Now drag this down. We got in this way. Now if I want to start the numbering from 2, then we can do it in the same way. Row bracket open bracket close minus row 
bracket open we have to select this cell because this cell will return 15 minus this cell will return 13 so 15 minus 30 equal to 2 and make this cell reference absolute by pressing f4 now bracket close and enter we got 2 now drag this we got from 2 now if i want to create a number series like the ids suppose item 1 item 2 item 3 or s1 s2 or maybe employee 1 employee 2 in this way if we want by using a text then we can use here like this equal to within quotation item quotation close then and then we will use the function as used here so row bracket open bracket close minus row bracket open then this cell make it absolute by pressing f4 bracket close and enter we got item one now if i drag it down then we can get in this way similarly we can use this with the help of concatenate function also equal to concatenate type here the text emp hyphen or let's not use hyphen quotation close comma row bracket open bracket close minus row bracket open select this cell press f4 then bracket close for row bracket close for concatenate now press enter drag this down so in this way you can create the number series or different employee ids now we will understand the third example so this is the third example and here we have the month and here regions and these are the sales values and if i want to know the sale value of a single region within different month so how to face this from a database so here you can use hlookup or vlookup so let's see with hlookup so type here equal to hlookup lookup value is south press f4 to lock it comma table array is this one press f4 comma row index number is 2 then for this cell it will be 3 4 5 so here we cannot use a number we have to make a dynamic number with the help of function so here row can help us so type row bracket open now first we need 2 for that we have to select a cell in row 2 then bracket close then comma range lookup so here we need to say that we want an approximate match or an exact match for approximate match we have to use true or one and for exact match false or zero so we need exact match that is why we will use zero then bracket close for h lookup now press enter we got 710 now drag this down you can see 690 875 in this way. now if i type here west we got 450 455 in this way so in this way with the help of h lookup you can get all this data now we will understand the fourth example that is conditional formatting so here first we will understand how to highlight with the help of a row that is here we want to highlight the alternate row so we can do this with isort function so first select this range then go to conditional formatting new rule select user formula to determine which cell to format then here type equal to is odd then bracket open now we have to use a row function within a row we don't need to put entrance so bracket close and bracket close for is odd go to format select a color okay and okay you can see the odd rows are highlighted now if you want to highlight the even rows just here edit rule and instead of odd type here even now okay apply you can see 
even rows are highlighted now 38 40 42 in this way okay now we can do the same thing with the help of mod select the range go to conditional formatting and new rule select this option and type here equal to mod bracket open a row bracket open bracket close comma two so here this number will be divided by two and the remainder will be zero or one so if the remainder is one then it is true and if the remainder is zero that is false so bracket close so here the even numbers will return zero so that will be false and odd number will return one so here odd number will be highlighted now go to format select here okay and okay you can see the odd number are highlighted now we will highlight two consecutive cell so how to do that select this range go to conditional formatting new rule select this option type here equal to mod then bracket open then here we have used the row function so before using this row function we will type int that is integer function bracket open row bracket open bracket close divided by 2 then bracket close comma 2 so this becomes the number and this is the divisor then bracket close now click on format select a color okay okay you can see the consecutive numbers so now if i want to highlight the three consecutive cell so how to do that select the range go to conditional formatting new rule select this option and here use the formula mod bracket open use int bracket open row bracket open bracket close divided by three so here three is the main factor if i use two divided by two then two consecutive row will be highlighted if i use three then three consecutive row will be highlighted so bracket close comma divisor will be two then bracket close click on format select a color okay okay you can see here three consecutive cells are highlighted so in this way you can use a row function to highlight consecutive cells or you can say consecutive rows so i hope you have understood this tutorial very well but still if you have any problem regarding this tutorial you can write me in the comment section and if you like this video please hit the like button and share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe our channel to learn more about excel so thanks for watching the video till the end see you soon in the next tutorial